Degenerative brain disorders have been part of the story of humanity for thousands of years. But in our search for proper diagnosis and treatment, have we been telling the right stories? An estimated 80 million people worldwide live with neurodegenerative diseases. The number is expected to grow rapidly over the next few decades as populations age, lifespans increase, and exposure to environmental toxins rises. After global investment of more than $100 billion, we have produced a handful of therapies that alleviate a few symptoms, but none that slow, let alone stop, these devastating disorders. Our one-size-fits-all stories have created a graveyard of failed disease-modifying trials. However, might we just be scavenging the ashes? hoping in vain to find clues to a puzzle that took decades to ignite? All while overlooking an assumption that diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's represent a single puzzle. And ignoring the spectrum of symptoms and disorder we see in these diseases. In Brain Fables, Benjamin Stetcher and Alberto Espe argue that it's time to rethink the stories we have told about diseases of brain aging. It is time we embrace their inherent complexity if we are ever going to slow or stop them. Going forward, instead of assuming that any therapy will work for everyone with a diagnosis of Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, we need to start properly subdividing patients based on their particular biology and find the therapy that works for their particular disease.